Now, what in the Royal Caribbean is going on here? Ladies and gentlemen, we got one. So there was recently a fight, a brawl on board a Royal Caribbean cruise ship. In this video, of course, I will go over the details that are available, or should I say lack thereof. We will go over a couple other ridiculous things that I noticed in the video that absolutely needs to be pointed out. However, before we dive into this conundrum, I do have to briefly address the cruise ship in the room. All of the carnival people, the very important fun people, the carnies, if you will, are salivating right now. They are celebrating at the fact that there was a fight on a Royal Caribbean cruise ship as opposed to a carnival. Now, let's make it clear I don't condone fighting in any way shape or form I just want to talk about this because to be honest with you I personally would not have known there was a fight on board a Royal Caribbean cruise ship if not for the heroic efforts of the carnival lovers out there commenting in my videos sending me emails and messages there is a very important explanation as to why this is I want to make it very clear here right now somebody that is on the internet a lot always on social media and trying my best to do some research of what's going on in the industry that way I can give all of you as valuable content as possible. Carnival and Royal Caribbean are without a doubt the most popular two cruise lines in the entire world. However, unfortunately, both of them are popular for realistically two different things. Royal Caribbean is going insane right now in popularity because they have the largest cruise ships in the world and you have people that don't even sail on cruise ships that are looking at Icon of the Seas and Utopia of the Seas coming up. They also have influencers on every social media platform promoting what the brand wants to be promoted whereas you have carnival on the other hand they don't have a lot of influencers on the internet their PR team is not the greatest and naturally when something bad does happen with carnival it is going to go absolutely viral in most cases being straight up with you I do hate that I have to talk about both Royal Caribbean and carnival in this video considering we are talking about a fight that took place on board a Royal Caribbean ship but as most of you know there was recently a fight on board a carnival cruise ship which we got to dive into both of these situations a little bit more however However, here's what we know so far about the fight that took place on board the Royal Caribbean cruise ship. It is believed that all this took place this past week at some point in time over in Galveston. At least that's where the ship that the fight took place on is currently sailing out of. There are typically four ships that do sail out of Galveston, Texas. You do have Harmony of the Seas, you have Voyager of the Seas, you have Jewel of the Seas, and you have Mariner of the Seas. However, during this summer period, you only have Harmony and Mariner. And looking at the video clip, which by the way, if you want to check it out, I will link it and pin it in the comment section below it is believed that this fight took place on board mariner of the seas in the video it is believed to be two young adult males that apparently can't control their emotions one at the start of the video because we don't see how all of it started there is no context or details or video footage of what exactly happened but one of them gets body slammed and you have this fight going back and forth there are fists being thrown and you have out of everybody there two women that step in to try to break up the fight i do want to make this very clear i mean this in the most non sexist way but the fact that there are men around and two women end up breaking up the fight maybe I'm just old school but I have been taught that if two men are fighting and throwing fists women should not intervene there should be men that go in there and break up the fight and considering that there are men around just kind of being bystanders and not doing anything whatsoever I think it's messed up and it should have been handled and de-escalated and broken up in a different way by which of course the men were the ones that should have been doing it I do hope these two gentlemen well they're not gentlemen at all these two immature boys were not only banned from sailing on any Royal Caribbean cruise ship for life and also fine I hope they also saw some jail time because this got extremely violent very quickly and you see as they're kind of heading over in the balcony which you guys again watch the video it could have got bad very very quickly as we wrap this story up I do want to address one more little nugget of information that I said in my previous video because naturally people are going to ask the question how come you said part of the blame goes to carnival in the fight that took place on board their ship but not here with Royal Caribbean. Well, for starters, it's very simple. This fight was much larger that took place on a Carnival cruise ship. I think it was 10 to 15 people, plates getting thrown, and it happened in arguably one of the most popular areas where fights do occur. As somebody that cruises a lot, I can tell you, at least on every Carnival ship, the three main points in which there's typically going to be a fight if one does happen to escalate and occur. The pool deck, the nightclub, or at least in 
the nearby vicinity, and of course the pizza place during the after hours when all of the nightly festivities closed down. Here on board this Royal Caribbean ship, it looks like it just happened over by the elevator in the lobby area, and it's kind of one of those spur of the moment situations where things got a little heated, a little escalated. I'm not making an excuse for it, but it is a completely different situation. When I say Carnival shares part of the blame, I don't mean it's a 50-50 split. I would say 10 to 15%. Why? Because as I just explained, there are three places where there is typically going to be a fight. And considering Carnival Cruise Line didn't have any staff over in those areas, and by that I mean security, in those areas, knowing that it is a short cruise, it is a party booze cruise, that partly is on them. They should have been a little bit more proactive, in my personal opinion. But of course, to many carnival lovers out there, I am completely wrong, even though the data shows that fights do typically occur in that area. Anyway, that's what we have for this particular topic. Hopefully, this eases a little bit of the frustration for the carnival lovers out there. Many people are saying that I avoid anything that takes place on anything other than a carnival cruise ship. No, that's not true at all. Like I said, carnival... Well, their PR is not the greatest, and when something gets out, it really does get out and go viral. And I try to put up the videos that I think all of you are going to watch and that you might find valuable. And of course, with Carnival being one of the most popular cruise lines out there, if not technically the most popular, yes, we are going to talk about it. But of course, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit that like button on your way out. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as usual, I love and appreciate every single one of you. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.